no. So thank goodness I have the schedule on my phone. So here I am. Hello, <laughs> ladies. How are we? Oh, we're good. It's good Back in the saddle it. again, yeah. eh? Yeah. Have we got a stunning red riding outfit for you? Ooh. Well, Ooh. you always make me look better than I really am. <laughs> I am the costume coordinator for Opera Carolina. This is my second season with the opera. I take the costumes that we rent, the costume package, and um, generally we have to supplement with something to accommodate a performer or the director's wishes that did not come with the package, uh, gloves, robes, shoes, or um, various costume props that they might require for the production. And then Vicki and I alter and repair as necessary. Um, how long the process takes varies upon, depending on the opera. Uh, Cosi Fantuti is a very simple project for us. It's a simple plot of costumes set in the 1920s, but Traviata coming up for us this season will be significantly more complicated and bigger and richer. And plus there's also more in, in the show, more performers in the show. Operas don't involve uh, massive quick changes where somebody's got to change in you know, 15 seconds, that's where you run into problems. Our quick changes are usually, you know, six, seven minutes, have a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Opera's a little bit different animal. Would you like to put the boots on before we throw the jacket on you to yeah. make sure they're good? I didn't notice this before. Oh no, you got a riding crop too. There's a riding crop. That's the best part about a riding outfit. Hmm. I'm wondering how much give there is in these, because I don't want to. Depending on how active I am, these, right. that's, it's ironic, because it's usually my fat butt, but it's the thighs, actually. Okay. Wow, that's not a bad look at all. Yes. I mean, I don't mean to sound so surprised, but <laughs> since, since I haven't been lifting, I thought I was going to look like the Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> it went uh, amazingly smooth, because I don't think, I don't remember, they had to uh, adjust next to nothing in three different costumes. I've had costume fittings where you say the same costume all night that can take an hour and this is wrong and that's wrong and this has got to change and, or it's the right idea. And then sometimes you have them done and the director doesn't like the look. You know, he may have seen a, a rendering on paper, a uh, sketch, but then when he sees it on the individual and in the three-dimensional world, it, it doesn't work for him. You, you know, you're so invested. There's so much pressure. You guys, that's why I like working here because these... They take such good care of you. They understand that if you feel like a, a goober in your costume, it's hard to be whatever character you're supposed to be Amen. out there. Each layer that you do, you go in and do the blocking, you meet your colleagues, and even though you may have done the show before, as I've done off one, so it's nice to have the energy of new colleagues and, and new people that you're working with, either as artists or stage directors, conductors. Then when you get to do your costume fitting, you get a little more insight as to what this character is going to be for this show. Each one of these heightens your intensity and your, uh, yeah, your anticipation, your excitement about doing it. And then the last is when you do the zitz probe and you hear the orchestra. Because we, I never get tired of singing with orchestra. And you do weeks of rehearsal with the piano in the room and it's great music and it's fun to sing, but then you get the textures of the orchestra. Then you're in your costume, you're on the set, and it's like that's what makes opera magical. It's, it's all of those things, you know. It truly is the 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 fully integrated art form of all fine art forms.